Hello to everyone. Uh, in this talk, we are going to talk about the open source in mobile devices. I was uh, working on it since several years. So let's start. First of all, about me. I'm Adrian. I came from Spain. I'm working, oh, I, I'm working in Linux since 2006. I work in BBVA. It's a bank. It's one of the, la of the largest banks in Spain. But my job role is an infrastructure and automation architect. I'm not working with mobile phones. So this is for my free time. Um, uh, since several years ago, I started uh, with PinePhone. Maybe some of you know this, this new mobile phone. And then after that, I started with another devices. So uh, first of all, I want to, to talk about the, why I choose OpenSUSE for, for deploy uh, the image. Um, one thing that uh, is in my life a lot was OBS. Uh, I create a lot of uh, uh, RPMs, so that's that platform. And with the stability of the ARM uh, infrastructure was uh, so easy for me to implement this. Then the role in the re release of Tumbleweed uh, was so good for me because uh, in one week there was a lot of changes for, for these uh, platforms. So uh, it was perfect. And uh, don't miss the, the, BT, the, the file system, the BTRFS, which uh, allows us to get a snapper and get rollbacks if we uh, fail on our versions. The, uh, next, uh, we have to make a lot of changes on, on the image. Um, one of, of their is the kernel. OpenSUSE default kernel doesn't work on these phones. It needs a lot of patches. Patch. And the problem with that is that you can run the, the OpenC, OpenSUSE default kernel, but it doesn't work uh, uh, the, the modem, the GPU, or maybe the, the, uh, the Pulse audio, audio. So you need a lot, of, a lot of things to make it work. There are a lot, uh, another reason. We have three types of, of the devices here on the table. One of them is a mainline uh, phone, mainline kernel phone, which is a Pine phone. It's like a, a, a Raspberry Pi. You can uh, burn an SD card and uh, start the phone. Just that easy. Uh, then we have a, an Alien-based devices. What that means? It's Android kernel with an abstraction layer to talk with the operating system. In this case, we have uh, the Volafone. It's a German um, company which made these phones. And then we have uh, Chu One Plus Six and Sixty, which is a, an Android phone with mainline kernel running on it. That means that we do not have all the functionalities working on it. Uh, what do we need uh, to adapt the, the, the stock environment? Uh, KDI and, for, uh, and Genome, which is Forge and Plasma Mobile environments, were not adapted to small screens. In fact, we have now a lot of patches uh, upstream. Another, another applications to, to adapt was Telegram, Firefox, uh, the flashlight uh, or, or torch, and, uh, and uh, some applications that we need for phones that doesn't exist for desktops. So that applications was like for OnePlus, we need an application who tells the hardware that it boots well after the, after the boot. Because if we not do that, after six reboots, change the slot and runs another, another system. In my case, these two ones have dual booting Android and Linux. I show you later how, how to do that. Um, so we have to adapt some, some applications. 
uh, what, devi what, what devices are cor co currently working on OpenSUSE? We have the PinePhone with 100% functionality. We have the PocoPhone F1, OnePlus 6, and 6T, which is our Android-based devices, and the Volafone. That's an Android-based device, but uh, with some particularities. And one not tested, but it should work because it has the same, the same hardware that OnePlus and PocoPhone F1, which is the Shift 6 MU. That three are Snap, uh, Qualcomm Snapdragon 845. And the other two I didn't remember, sorry. Uh, as I said, the PinePhone uh, was 100% functional. Currently, I think it will work as a daily driver device. I was using it about a month, but it's too fat for my pocket, so I didn't change for another one. Um, the Volafone, which is this one, this one, yes. It works more or less everything last few weeks. I get it camera working, but only in a 90 degrees format. And the Bluetooth and GPS doesn't work, so it's not fully, fully implemented. I show you later how it works. And the OnePlus 6 and 60, which is mainland kernel, but doesn't got camera, sensors, notification LED, or flash. What that means, we can do it as a daily driver, as a daily driver phone, Linux phone. We can call, we can uh, use, a, a, use Bluetooth speakers, but uh, we do not have everything. But it's fair enough. Uh, so I can, I hope I can show you for the demo how it works. This is the Pine phone. I don't know, are you seeing well? Uh, with keyboard? No, not as well. Okay, possibly. So later. So we have two desktop environments now. Just now, we have, uh, in one way, uh, genome bases, bases uh, which is FOSH, and in the other, in the other hand, we have a KDA, uh, which is plasma mobile phone. For now, we only the Pine phone and the OnePlus runs all of two. The Volafone, which is alien based, is an a Android generic, generic system ima, im, image, uh, only works with FOSH. Why? Because the HW Composer, which is not allowed since uh, six months from, from Plasma Mobile, they deprecated that functionality, so we cannot install there. Um, What's uh, the difference between mainland and or, or Allium? As we have seen, there are different devices. Of course, their image creates differently. In fact, the, the three types of phones here uh, have different creation image. Im image. So, um, if we, if we focus on native Android devices, which is Volafone, OnePlus, PocoPhone, which uh, that is a PocoPhone, um, we have a mainline kernel installed on it or a generic system image. The mainline kernel, uh, it's easy to, to flash. You just start boot the mobile phone in fast boot mode. You just uh, have to um, create a partition there, and then uh, flash the boot and the user data uh, partition. Th just that. Uh, the GSI mesh, you have to install TWRP and flash it like uh, another Android image. Mm, 
In fact, the, um, the, the, the GSI image, maybe it's the better to have because it has the camera working, it has the audio working, it has Bluetooth maybe working, it has all almost all functionalities. The mainline kernel, it, ha it has the, the, the functionalities because pass the sensor camera to the to the Linus kernel from the the, the Sony's Android phones cameras. It's uh, almost impossible for now. Mm, so two minutes and, and, and almost uh, have done everything. What do we have here? I want to show you how to bring a phone with Android on your pocket and with Linux. So you can have the two worlds of the, of the, of the benefits. So you can get your bank apps maybe working because you need Android because there aren't any bank apps in, in Linux for now. But you want to boot on Linux because you are more familiar with the, with the shell, for example. Or we just want to use Zipper to install your, your package. So what we can do here? Use dual booting. How we can do dual booting? There are two types of, of phones. The AB slot or the partition, like a, like a computer, to do dual boot. The problem with partition is, is that you have to first enter in, in TWRP, upload the departed binary, then delete the user data partition, create two partitions, and finally, when you start in an Android rooted phone, you have to flash your boot partition every time you want to restart in Linux. And the process in Linux is to flash your boot partition to start in Android. What that means, if you lose the, the file to flash it, you are stuck. The AB slot works like a storage loom. So you can activate A or B partitions to work with them. I think I can show you how it works this with my shell. Let's try. I have to, to maybe here. Here is how one plus six starts. Yeah, more or less. But I can show you that's tumble with. Yeah, it starts. Sure, it's my daily driver phone. So here we, fa we have Fosh environment. So if I start, it's connected to my Wi-Fi. Yes, let's check the, the IP 23. I can see. This is correct. Yes. The password is easy. One, two, three, four. Yeah, here we are on OpenSUSE, mobile phone. Uh, And the default password for OpenSUSE in root is Linux on our ARM devices. I have? No. Anyone knows? Okay. Five minutes. 
it's over the mobile data from another phone. I want to show you the partitions and then disk. Here, oh shit. I didn't, don't see the labels. Where is the mouse? Too much. Ah, here it is. That's the partition table from the Android device. Yeah, a lot of them. Okay, let's boot in fast boot. I'm going to try you how to do this in the easy way. I have to say that for the OnePlus devices, we need to have a init RD, a custom init RD, which make a some script to mount the correct path before booting. Oh, come on. Okay. I'm at home, so uh, fast boot, boot. Let's try it's enchilada. <laughs> this one. Okay, let's put, I hope. So once there, we have to, to upload the parted binary and then uh, see the partition. But I, maybe it doesn't start because of the version. Yeah. That's the problem with mobile device. Each one has each version of uh, everything. The vendor files, the, the firmware. Uh, every, every time they upload the, the firmware, this changes. So uh, it's, it's the, the problem. And it doesn't start, so demo time. It's, it's a good fail. So I can show this, maybe in this. Uh, I'm so sorry. I, have been, I haven't enough time to prepare this. So I'm a little bit nervous too, my first OpenSUSE conference. And this has been the same. So. The mobile device 
uh, is working, but uh, I can show this. So I continue with the slideshow uh, to the final. <laughs> what we need? Yeah. Uh, what we need? Just now we have um, we have some things that is not correct. We have all our R RPM repos in OBS. That's cool, but we have uh, our PinePhone image creation in OBS. That's correct and should be like this. Our Volafone or Allium or GSI image is on GitHub because we need to create a zip file. That means that is not on official repositories. It's the, I don't like that. I'm here to, to ask to OpenSUSE to give a, as a, a, a Jenkins CI or something similar to create that uh, zip image, image and and upload it to an official repo. And then we have uh, the, um, the mainland, the other Android phones with mainline kernel, which is the OnePlus 60, the Pocophone F1, and the, the possibility of the Shift 6MQ. That is uh, made now from a Jenkins CI of my property. Uh, I have to make a CH root environment to delete the boot partition because it can has be flashed directly to there. Uh, it needs to flash as parse Android image. So uh, the problem with that is uh, that in, uh, in GitHub, OBS, or public uh, tools, I cannot do a uh, ch root to modify the image and then uh, pu publish. Uh, in fact, it's a four gigas image, so I don't have enough uh, space to, to have every release published. Now I'm using an Oracle Cloud Free Tire to upload there to an uh, object storage, so for now it's, it's there. But it's not good too. It should be on, on open source uh, repositories. And what I have to do to improve the, um, the environment of open source in, in mobiles? First of all, uh, improve my presentations and the demos. And second of all, pues, uh, uh, it's to to make that in ITRD public on the on the OBS repos and make it an, an, like an RPM or maybe something like that. I don't know how, but uh, I have to 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 use this init in ITRD, and it's impossible for, for me because I tried to use the the open source one, and also. To, to make crypt all the device. No one of these devices are crypted. So I think it's uh, improved security. I want it because uh, one of these are going to be next with my daily driver. In fact, this one uh, with dual booting uh, and FOSH instead of Plasma Mobile because uh, it can wake up when, when calling. Uh, Plasma Mobile for now, uh, it's, it's ringing, but the screen doesn't appear. You have to uh, unlock it and see the, the, the call. In Fosh, it's working well. So it, it's going to be my, my daily driver. And it's, it will be nice to have a, a, a encrypted uh, home folder or maybe the, the whole, uh, whole system. And of course, for this, for this, I need to, to talk with the guy with Agama because we need to, to make it via an installer. We cannot crypt, uh, user need to put the password. 
So now uh, the image is burned directly on the phone without this, this uh, user intervention. So we need an installer to, to, insta to, to make this working on, on phones. And that's all. Eh? Five minutes to, to go. Yes. Um, I think it's good to come here, see the phones. You can test it, whatever you want. And if, if you want uh, to ask me something, you can ask me whatever you want to. Uh, any questions? Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> so questions? Anyone have any questions? That's all. Anyone want a, a mobile? I need one. One more. The new Volafone, which is a, 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 a Germany company, uh, maybe will be the next phone I, I try to port. Very interesting work. Thank you for presenting that today. Um, I wasn't quite clear on what exactly you are showing and testing here. So was that an Android vendor kernel that we're using to boot, just with a modified init RD, or was it actually an OpenSUSE kernel? And similarly, you were speaking about making modifications to images. Was that then not a Kiwi built image, but like a vendor provided image that you did manual modifications to? Okay, the, the uh, init RD is on, on the open source part. So this phone doesn't have any Android part. It's only uh, boot um, the, the directly the open source like in desktop. You have the partitions, the, 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 the Android parts, because if you want to make dual boot, you can delete this part. I never test, but I will test. What happens is if I delete all these partitions? And no, what I meant is the boot image that you were using with Fastboot to boot the kernel. What kernel are you using there? Is that oh. the Tumbleweed kernel? Yeah, it's a kernel building OBS. It's, um, it's not OpenSUSE default, I can show you. It's a 6.2. It's the lastest. So and vendor provided kernel like downstream. No, 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 not, it's not Android provider. It's directly a, a kernel, but from upstream. There are some guys that made the Snapdragon 845 kernel, which uh, uh, takes the Linux kernel, patches the, the, the audio and the, some files, and publish. It's not Android, because if it was Android, it should be 5. 8, uh, 19, I think this phone comes with 519 and doesn't upgrade. Uh, so it's directly a uh, um, mainline kernel. In fact, you can't start, you can start open source default kernel, but um, calls and ADO doesn't work. The rest it will, wo it will work. You can uh, make Wi-Fi works, the touch screen, the GPU, GPU, I'm not sure. But it shows, it works the, the screen. Uh, so you can uh, run directly the Linux kernel, not the Android one. That's the, the cool thing about this. That's not happening with the GSI image. That's just the, the Android kernel. So you, if we have three, ty three types of, of devices, the mainline, that's just, just like a Raspberry Pi. The, the Android one, which is an Android kernel with an abstraction layer to talk with the hardware. So the operating system talks with, an, uh, with a library with the Android kernel. And then the mainline, which is Android device, but with mainline kernel from, from Linux. And that's what I like to use. Okay. Oh. 
Okay, okay. any other questions? I think we kind of hit that point, but uh, all right. Thank you. You're welcome.